Hey guys, I'm Trent. I'm Michael. In this video, we're going to show you how to create custom NPCs on your Minehunt server. Okay, so we are on our server panel right here, just on the main Minehunt panel. And we want to create some NPCs to like, when we walk up to them, they tell us something and then they just look cool and they welcome us. So what we need to do is install a couple of plugins. We're going to go over to the plugins page. Cool. And then I am going to install the plugin Citizens. Citizens. Create custom interactive NPCs, can cause extreme lag, lots of programmers required. We're only gonna do a couple, so it should be okay, but if you're gonna create like a whole quest system with these guys, it might get a little bit heavy. Yeah. And then we're gonna uh, install Vault as well. Yeah. Uh, and if you don't know how to add RAM to your Mindhut server, we actually have a video that tells you how to do that. We do we do. Okay, so we installed Vault as well, just because I think Citizens needs Vault to uh, do a few things. Okay. Um, and then, like always, we're just gonna restart our server now. Restart that, baby. Okay, our server is back up with the plugin Citizens and Vault. We're going to go in game and check that out. We're loading in. We're going to type slash PL. We're going to put ourselves in creative real quick just to make this easier. And yep, there it is Citizens Vault. Okay, we're going to. All right. There, there's not much room here. I'm going to head over to the swamp well, by the pumpkin. Here, here we go, by the pumpkin. Okay, nice. Well, we can make a pumpkin man. Nice and spacious. Okay. <laughs> So we just want to create an NPC that when we walk up to it, or like when somebody joins the server, it says, hi, go to our website, something like that. Nice. So I am going to just stand here and I'm going to just do like slash NPC create. And then I am going to call him Deef because that, that's uh, cool. Oh, that's me. Yep. Oh. Oh, wow. So Deef. So it just took the skin of whoever has a username Deef. So somebody must have that account. That's not you. It's not me. We I'm should, Deef Erickson. If Deef, if you are watching this, hit us up, please. Oh. Uh, okay, so I I don't really like, like that's that's not us. So I want to do NPC rename, and then I'm I want to make it look like I'm welcoming people okay. to the server. Yeah. So that yeah. Oh, okay. There yeah. There, there we are. So he hello, hi. There's there's the me. There's the mm -hmm. fake me. So I am I really idling in the minehunt lobby all the time, or is it just an NPC? I don't know. Um, Question science may never answer. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, so say I want him to be named Trent, but I do not want him using my skin. I can also do that. So I'm gonna have him use a different skin. So the, yeah, there, there we is. Oh. So the account Super League has their skin on here, even though it's still the username Trent. Cool. Yeah. So I'm gonna uh, NPC skin. We're gonna we're gonna set it back to mine though. So it's mm -hmm. like a, yeah, yeah. There we go. And then I don't I don't like that he's looking down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move here. People are gonna be like spawning over there and looking okay. at me this way. So I'm gonna do slash NPC move and that will teleport the NPC to exactly where I am and how I am looking. Ah. So, like, so like, yeah, I'm looking up a little bit. So, so maybe you're just, always looking up. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Gotta be positive. There you know? we go. Okay. Okay. So we have our guy here. He's near our spawn point and we just want it. So that way when we walk up to him or when players walk up to him, he'll say hi and like check out our website or something. Um, so I already have this NPC selected. So I'm gonna do slash NPC text. And then that's going to bring me into like an editor and it'll tell me like, yeah, I can add an entry. I can edit them. Mm -hmm. I can remove them and, and do it all gives that you stuff. all sorts of instructions on, on how to proceed from here. Exactly. So we're just going to do some basic stuff. So we're going to type add and then we want it to do, I'm going to add a little bit of color mm -hmm. and then we want it to be check out mindhut.com. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah, a tutorial. So yeah, check out mindhut.com. We're going to just press enter. There we go. Yep. And then see it in red there. Nice. And then the next thing we want to do is set the range. Uh, invalid range. Okay, so we're gonna do the range of let's just do let's do five. That, that's five. pretty big actually if you think about like radius. Mm -hmm. And then we want to do close because we want him to be a close talker, so he'll talk mm -hmm. to us. Yep, there we go. So he'll talk when we get close to him. Cool. Uh, and now we should just be able to exit out of this by doing NPC text. Exited text editor. Yep, exited text editor. And then once we walk within five blocks, there oh. he is. Yeah, Trent to you. Check, Check out mindhut.com. There you he is. You know what? I think I might do that. Yeah, maybe I maybe I will, sir. There we go. Oh yeah, and it even like times out a little bit so it doesn't spam me. So you can set this up like by your spawn and you can have it like people walk up to it. You could have multiple of them to be like, check out the ranks, check out our YouTube mm -hmm. channel, check out our Discord. It's a really great way to have a two tutorial for your server as yes. well. You can have people learn about your server by talking to different NPCs as they walk along. And that is how you set up custom NPCs on your Minehut server.